What's going on everybody and welcome back. Me, the wife, and Chris decided to take a weekend trip to meet up with Matt, Kara, and Danny in Ohio. And this was a long one. This was a wild one. We ended up checking out three separate trails. We did the Holler, we did Tecumseh, and we did Criola. A lot of riding, a lot of just technical stuff, a lot of mud. A really good time, really good people. That being said, let's get after it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I got that too. So we hadn't been long getting in town, so we wanted to do kind of a little warm up <laughs> run. So we hit the creek bed. And uh, thankfully, we brought our winch with us because we got stuck. A lot. Well, I made it that far. Right. Woo! Yeah. yeah, you do. Oh, get in the mud. Thankfully, Matt had installed a winch on the front of that side-by-side. -side. Otherwise, we'd have had a bad time out there because just about everybody had to use it at least once. Nice. Yeah, who next? Next victim. Now, keep in mind, Danny had just got this warrior back from getting it fixed. It needed new tie rods, Come new top end, a Danny. lot of stuff, and uh, he beat on this thing like there was no tomorrow, and it took it like a champ. Here's Mikey on Jimmy's 99 Wolverine, and he was putting this thing through the paces. It tried, and it tried, and it tried. Mikey finally had a beta trying to get up that rutted out path and decided to make his own. How'd that taste? This is a spread right yeah, here. Really. We have a buffet of power sports out here. Yeah. Matt and Chris are getting prepared. What we have here is a pretty steep hill. They're gonna go down and they're gonna try and hill climb this. Matt on the KO and Chris on the 230. probably can't see them, but they're right there. It's coming in hot. Danny's joining in on the fun. Sweet. Here's one we've been looking forward to doing for a while, a head-to-head -head race of the KO versus the CRF 230. Now keep your eyes open because eventually we're going to do a complete side-by-side -side comparison of the KO T2 versus the Honda CRF 230F. Good. That was good. That was a, that was a good. 
Yeah, you read that right. Chris bought a brand new 2021 Raptor 700. So keep your eyes open because we're gonna do a review on this one as well. Don't go hauling ass. Huh? Don't go hauling ass. Uh, there's no guarantees, Hoss. You better hold on. I don't want to roll this thing. I don't either. Oh, you mother. You got life insurance? No. You better get some. I cannot emphasize this enough. Do not try this uh, at home. Lean with the turns. Lean with the turns. Ah, <laughs> Okay, so at this point, we kind of cut the videos off because we had a surprise for Matt and Kara. Uh, they're actually expecting a child, and we decided to throw them just a little impromptu diaper party type things. So congratulations to Matt and Kara on your baby. We can't wait to meet her. And until next time, y'all, get up, get out there, and get after it.